Ever been in a situation where you get to the club, set up the turntables, and all of a sudden you get... Aw, are you serious? Or you get... Who the hell ripped out the ground wires? When that happens, usually there's a problem with the RCA cable or the ground wire inside the turntable. Today, we got the Techni 1200s. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the RCA cable, and we're going to do a little mod where we self-ground the turntable. This will allow us to get rid of the ground issue, and we don't need to worry about plugging that ground into the mixer anymore. So these are the basic items you're going to need. You got scissors, a small pick, nail clippers, wire strippers, solder, soldering gun or torch, flip screwdriver, and Forza ties. Alright, first step, locking the tone arm. Take off your needle, just basically take off everything that you need to so that you can flip this thing over. Uh, make sure the lights push down, uh, take out your slip mat and vinyl. Um, the platter, this has to come off too because if you try to flip it over, it's going to basically pop out. I have all my cords disconnected and grab my case. Alright, let's flip this baby over. Oh. We're looking at the back of the turntable now. Now the part that we're trying to get to will be this area right here. Um, but the first thing you gotta do before we actually get there is remove all these screws here for the actual casing. So let's get to it. Screwdriver. Now I took out the outer screws first. The ones that are within this circle, they're a different size, they're a little bit shorter. So keep these separate. So after you get out all the screws, you want to take off the feet. Just unscrewing them. There are another four screws on the four corners after that. One, two, three, four. After removing the four screws, pop it out. The part that we're going to be focusing right now is this area right here. This is where your RCA cable and your ground wire is actually at. So this is where the wiring is. Um, the main thing that you're going to take out here are these two screws on the top of it. So let's go ahead and pop this sucker out. So after removing that, you're going to see these little two tabs out here on the side. Kind of see it from here. And to remove these, all you have to do is just grab a small flathead screwdriver and pop them out. Just pry away on the top of it. And while prying, pull. Top part, bottom part, put these away. Next step is to remove the metal shell out of this part. This is only two screws. Again, keep these screws separate also. And pop this plate out. Okay, so let me explain the circuit real quick. White ground, white signal. Red signal, red ground. These are the four points that we're gonna be messing around with. What we're going to be doing is removing these RCA connections and replacing them with another RCA cable. During reassembly, we're going to have this ground wire ground to any of these two grounds that are over here. That way we don't always need to connect this ground into our mixer. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this little zip tie over here. Just get some nail clippers, get it in there, pop them out. Next up is basically we're going to take off the solders on these connections. So get your solder, put it on there, and just pop them out. It came off pretty well. There you go. And you successfully removed them. Basically what you're going to do now is basically get the new RCA cables, cut them, and your other end is going to end up looking like this. The next step from here is basically we're going to strip this wire. 
the inside of it is the signal and the outside of it will be your ground. So get some wire strippers and then take them off. Now if you did this really good, you should be able to see the copper lining that's outside. Grab as much as it's possible. Actually you should grab all of it. You don't want to go into your signal wire, it's going to short it out. And you're not going to get a good signal when you're using Serato or Tractor. Okay, so once you get it, all of it out, twist it up. And do the same thing on the other side. After separating the ground, the next step is to get into the inside of this cable and strip that piece so you have your signal wire. After stripping out the wire, make sure you keep the signal and the ground separate. As you can see, I just made a big L. That way I know where the wires are going. Okay, so there's two things you could do with this ground wire. You could either cut it up and just have it directly go into the ground circuit of any of these two points, or be like me and just Wrap it up. Grab a zip tie and, and just suck that down here somewhere. Now if you haven't already, go ahead and strip the end of your ground wire. Take off the connector that if you still have that, and if you still have that, damn, you're taking really good care of your stuff. Okay, next part is to solder the wires back in. We got the red connection right here, and what I did is basically leave them on top of the old solder. Get your soldering torch, just put it on top of it. Just hold it right there until it melts in. The type of solder I'm using is actually a rosin core. As you can see. And all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit at this connection. Now when you also solder, make sure your solder is not crossing over to the other circuit. Just a little bit. Now we're gonna work on the white circuit. Now because we are also setting up this ground wire, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the ground wire and wrap it around right now. That way it's just together. Twist them up. That should be about it. Let's get that signal wire right on top. Grab my soldering torch. Now after you're done with that, inspect the wires. Make sure your signals are not touching the grounds and everything else is all good from there. According to this, looks like it's all good. Push my wires under there. And tie it up. Okay, so after you're done, um, go ahead, double check your connections, get the zip tie on there, uh, put the back cover back on, just put two screws, plug it in, and see if it actually works. Um, under Serato, you go to setup and you just check the ground signal, see if it's a good round circle. Uh, if it's not showing up correctly, you could have done any, something wrong. Um, double check those connections. If they're crossing over, it's going to cause some problems. If that's still not the case, you might actually have an issue with the ground cable that's inside of the turntable. That would be a whole different scenario. You would have to take apart the entire turntable and actually get in there and find out where the broken wire is or replace that wire. Other than that, uh, let's get everything back together and um, test it out. All right, I got both turntables running right now. Sounding great. Let's get over here. And as you can see, my right turntable is doing pretty well. And my left one's pretty really stable too. The reason I'm getting the red still is because my needles are kind of messed up, but a lot better than before. Hope you like this video. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DJ Marky G, or visit my website at www.enix.me forward slash DJ Marky G. Peace.